Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another exciting edition of your favorite program. Let's talk, of course, on your favorite channel, Huda TV, because, of course, Huda TV is the pioneer and premier English language Islamic channel, inshallah. You guys, uh, you know the contact information. Continue to contact us and me on Facebook because that's how we uh, get in touch with you guys. Uh, and check us out on YouTube and Twitter as we open our account soon, uh, inshallah. Uh, we posted some comments on Facebook about this episode, and we have a very interesting topic, you guys. This is not just a youth issue, an adult issue, it's a human issue, because it affects a large part of the Muslim Ummah. And then when I was researching this topic online, I realized what a devastating factor it has become among the Muslim world, and I was really actually depressed and disappointed to see what a negative effect it ha has had on, and is having on the Muslim world today. And I'm going to quote some figures that are going to really shock and stun you guys. And I'm going to say it as a wake-up call to our dear Muslim brothers and sisters. Having said that, you're probably wondering, what is this topic? I'm talking about a really evil practice that is destroying lives. You probably think I'm talking about hard drugs, uh, some sort of violence. I'm talking about pornography. And yes, pornography is a type of drug and a type of violence as well. It's a very terrible thing. People take it for granted. They take it lightly, but it's very, very, very bad. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to explore this issue. And if you're someone who at home who does watch pornography, we're going to give you the means. The Sheikh is going to tell you guys how to get out of it and ask Allah to forgive you. It's not over for you. You can snap out of that terrible cycle. Having said that, let me introduce my special guest. We have a young brother from Canada via Syria, now here in Egypt. A uh, very impressive young brother speaking fluent Arabic, mashallah. Brother Abdul Rahman Hassan. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Brother, it's very nice to meet you. Thank you for being on very the program nice to meet with you us. Too. I'm looking forward to seeing your insight about what's happening among young people with regards to pornography. Are young kids using their devices, mm. uh, iPads, iPhones for a good reason? Are they watching pornography? Is there peer pressure in school? All that stuff, uh, peer sure. pressure that is to watch pornography in school and to actually commit sex and these things. Uh, we're going to be talking about that with you, inshallah. 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 And of course, our second guest uh, is a very special guest, and he's back by popular demand, uh, Sheikh Zakaria, mm -hmm. but Sheikh Zakaria Ibrahim. I'm very happy to have you on Let's Talk. Every time mm -hmm. I put the episode online, people say, where's the Sheikh? Bring him again. Shumala. You always bring beneficial uh, knowledge to us, and I really appreciate that. Yes. So, assalamu alaikum and welcome to the show. Wa and I know you prepare for this topic very well because you always do. I'm really looking forward to your, your thoughts about uh, prevention. Uh, and we want to talk about what happens in the human body, why we want to look at pornography, how do we prevent ourselves from doing it, and if we are doing it, how we can break out of it. Okay, inshallah. You guys in the studio audience, we have a, ve a varied group of uh, youngsters. I certainly appreciate your time as well. Uh, you guys, I want you to say your name, uh, briefly where you're from, and just tell me a little bit about this topic, you know, how bad of a, of a, of a, a danger is this uh, for... For, for the youth, inshallah. And after the, your comments, we're going to go check out the Facebook report that was prepared by Brother Osama, inshallah. Go ahead, Brother. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaykum wa rahmatullahi My name is uh, Hussam al-Din Alam. I'm a senior student at the Faculty of Islamic Sharia and Law English. And uh, with the aid of Allah the Almighty, I'm the Secretary General of Islam Ambassadors Association at al Azhar University. Very good, mashallah. And I'm uh, Egyptian, and, and my, my mother tongue is Arabic. Mashallah. Great. Uh, what this topic, brother? As for the second part of your question, as uh, when it comes to pornography, uh, I believe uh, two angles here ha need to be highlighted. The first one, its effect on, uh, on us. Because when we deeply consider such an issue, we can clearly that, see that it actually dehumanizes, uh, dehumanizes the women and, uh, and it also hijacks our humanity yes. and the right orientation when it comes to this, this intimate physical interaction in the proper sense of the word and in the healthy understanding of this issue. Yeah, that's well put, brother. Yes, and alhamdulillah, as Muslims, you know that Islam uh, answers and uh, uh, puts the right way and the right channel uh, to fulfill our desires and our, and our urges in, in a healthy manner and in a constructive manner. And this is why we have marriage. And in Islam, in Islam the Prophet peace be upon him made it very, cl made it very clear that uh, the, the, young, uh, the young people, both uh, males and the females, are highly encouraged to get married when they have the, uh, the ability and the means. If not, they have to seek uh, the help of Allah the Almighty by maintaining the, uh, their five daily prayers and also by making dua and also by taking refuge and in, 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 in fasting. Yes, as the Prophet uh, described it, as a protective shield for us. And also, Brother Mark, if I may, actually Go here, we are, we are in front of a, a, a lobby. Because actually, uh, por porn and, and all what comes after it, actually, it's a whole industry. Yeah, of course. So uh, actually, there are people who make profit out of this. And, th and here comes 
uh, the, the necessity of taking an action against it. Because as, as you, as you uh, rightly said at the very beginning, this is an issue that faces now our humanity. So we have to take a clear-cut stand in order to, uh, to bring this to an end. And as, uh, as Muslims, both as individuals and as institutions, and also as governments, we have to take a firm stand against this and put uh, our own efforts to bring this... Uh, Dehumanization. To yeah, it. thank you. We'll put, but it, it, it does definitely dehumanize uh, uh, both the men and the women. That's for sure. And by the way, you got out. What it was really depressing for me, disappointing. Uh, six out of the ten top countries viewed, according to a report that I saw in 2012, the countries that the top ten countries that viewed the most amount of pornography online. Six out of the ten countries were Muslim countries, and the top two countries were Muslim countries. And I'm going to talk about it because I want to air this garbage out to embarrass people to uh, perhaps to uh, allow them to uh, repent and think about their sins, inshallah. Go ahead, brother. Tell me your name, where you're from. Okay. I am Mahmoud Shaheen, and I am Egyptian, and I work at the Islamic American University in Michigan. Oh, mashallah. From America, and I'm very happy and nice to meet you, my brothers. Barakallah. Brother, what do you think about the topic pornography? What do you think? I am very happy because we talk in this... Uh, this topic, yeah, yeah it's very, it's so very sorry. tough, to I good will, topic, isn't it? Okay, I will be uh, sorry. Uh, my brother, he will be continuing with us. Uh, in Inshallah. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum, how are you? Fine, thanks. Thank you for coming again, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> my name is Omar. Go ahead, Omar. Omar from Egypt. Uh, well, it's, it's kind of addiction. It's an addiction, isn't it? Yeah, my friends in, in school last year, they were having it like uh, they eat or, or drink or... All the time, pornography, pornography. Yeah, that's all they think about. And all they do, and they watch it on their iPads, the iPhones. How do Mobiles, they watch? It? Uh, what about their parents? Well, they don't know. They don't even know. They know nothing. Yeah, Subhanallah. How old are these kids? Eighteen, uh, teenagers. Teenagers, teenagers yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Well, that, that's thank you for t sharing that information because it's the truth, and parents need to hear that. And that's why parents, brother Omar, we have a program called Tech Talk. Where brother Omar is telling parents how to lock your devices for porno against pornography. Yeah. So interesting. All right, brother Omar. I appreciate it. Thank you. Same. Let's give it to the uh, handsome brother in the back. Yes. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. My name is Ahmed. Ahmed al -Basiyoun. I'm from Egypt and uh, I graduated from Al-Azhar University from Faculty of Language and Translation. Um, I'm very happy to, to be in such a place, the Huda TV, and uh, hoping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make it easy for all of them to spread the message of Islam. Then I, um, if I have th something to, 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 see, uh, to say about uh, our topic today, I want to say that Everybody of, uh, of us, all of Muslims, as total in all the world, must have rules to, uh, to, to, to follow it in his life. Th these rules m must be according to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us or what, al what agrees Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we must um, be aware of what make our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala anger of us. And I think um, this this topic that we are speaking about today is something that uh, make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala angry of us. So um, we hope to say to parents to make it easy. Again, this is my advice to parents because you mentioned parents to uh, my Brother parents, my brother. Parents, make it easy for young men to marry. Don't make it very hard for them. Yes. Make it easy for them. Subhanahu and then, yeah. while they started or they began their life, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help them with all what they need of furniture in, in their flat or in their house. And they, they may have uh, uh, a good kids for Islam and for, for our ummah today because we need a strong uh, belief men and women today. Because fighting uh, all, uh, all over the world, uh, b b behind behind this uh, idea, I find I find this idea, pornography, the main uh, weapon today to destroy the Muslim Subhanallah. Ummah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make it easy, mm -hmm. and we will inshallah uh, uh, make use of our sheikhs to ask them and to know how we avoid this uh, uh, destroyal uh, uh, weapon today. And thank you. Imagine the whole world is attacking the Muslim Ummah with armies and everything, and the people are looking at porno. <laughs> go ahead, brother. Assalamu alaikum. Alexander, go ahead. Um, Nabil, Nabil from Egypt. Go ahead, Nabil. 
and first uh, when I first hear you say pornography I I was shocked you know it's some topic we don't open much yes. but we need to open it you yes. need to to face the truth that it's invading our houses yes our schools our workplace young oh. and old people teenagers little kids in middle school you find them yeah driven to see these things yeah and, and you know what but you made a good point and you know what the satellite tv channels and all this stuff it preps these kids when you're young to put the sexuality in your mind and it gets them ready for their hardcore pornography subhanallah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so it's a big problem and we must face it yeah and stand firmly for it yeah thank you brother. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you so much Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you? How are you, Malik? Alhamdulillah, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Mu'taz Lashin. Um, I'm a student, uh, the fourth year, uh, uh, the faculty of uh, uh, translation, uh, language and translation, Azhar al-Sharif. MashaAllah. Uh, this is uh, a good topic from a side and a danger, dangerous topic from the other side. Uh, it is two messages. I want to send uh, them from this uh, episode or this program with you. Uh, the first uh, message is we have to fear of Allah. We have to fear of Allah and uh, we have to know that Allah is with us all the time. Yeah. All the time uh, with his uh, knowledge, uh, with his uh, almighty, with his almighty when a punishment. Uh, he will punishment uh, about our sins if we not repent. Yes. Uh, second message to the parents: uh, If any, uh, if any father bring a, 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 a channel uh, or a satellite, uh, he he would uh, he have to delete yes. uh, uh, over than two thousand channels. Yeah. Uh, it is an inquiry. On our children, yeah. we uh, then we have to uh, bring a, gen a generation, a new generation of strong people, strong uh, youth, yeah. uh, to um, to raise the flag of Islam all over the world. Yes, yeah, Subhanallah. Thank you, brother. I certainly appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, brother, we usually start from the right, but with your permission, if I could start with Sheikh Zakaria, I want to uh, I want to get into Sheikh Zakaria briefly, uh, in depth rather. And uh, so where should we begin with this topic, Sheikh? I know there's a lot of uh, uh, you have a lot of things you would like to speak about. Should we talk about first uh, the dangers of por pornography or that it's a major sin? Or should we talk about diseases of the heart? Or should we talk about preventative measures? Where should we go first? Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam wa ala sayyidi mursaleen. Uh, all praises are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us to speak whatever is which benefits the ummah and that we implement it ourselves. Inshallah. Uh, basically, like what Brother Hussam had mentioned, I would just, uh, uh, just to touch on the topic so that we know that uh, although we're seeing it, uh, you know, uh, the, this uh, pornography coming from all corners, whether it's marketing, advertising, yeah. on billboards, on internet, on cell phones, you know, it's a problem which you would say that someone would ask you, you'd say that, what do you mean? So I shouldn't have a cell phone on me because cell phone has internet. Right. Or someone would say that if I'm driving and uh, I'm exposed, so I shouldn't look uh, up because, uh, you know, right. someone would say, uh, so are you telling me I shouldn't have internet in my house? Right. You know? I can't buy uh, an iPad. I, I can buy an iPad. So right. people would say that uh, we, we, uh, we are forced to watch porn. Right. Basically, that's why I just wanted to uh, discard that, uh, you know, claim. Right. We know that Islam... Uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Nabi to Salaam. guide men and everything has been mentioned and uh, the, uh, all types of sins and wha what are the threats to a person's life and what are those uh, sins which uh, causes the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been made clear to us right. and how to counter those sins right. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent Nabi Salaam. the Quran is available and scholars have worked throughout time to make it easy for us to understand. Right. And this is the reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Al akmaltu lakum dinakum, meaning that everything which could threaten a person or which could be the meaning that every difficulty, there is a way to counter that difficulty. So okay. that chapter is closed. Right. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created mankind, every part of your body for a certain reason. And to know the defect of that part, for example, your eyes, you'll know that what my eyes I can see, the defect of my eyes is that I cannot see. Your hands, uh, it's feeling, touching, right. the defect of it to stop touching, right. you know. So they mention, scholars mention the defect of the heart is 
that firstly, lack of knowledge. Number two is that the heart does not have any wisdom. Thirdly, recognition of where you are, your existence, for what reason have you come. Fourthly, using these three weapons to understand and bring in your life the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when a person uses his knowledge, right. his wisdom, and his recognition around him, that subhanAllah, look at the skies, look at this, look right. at this, you know, this is the beauty of Allah, my, the, 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 the way I live my life, you know. Right. And he brings us to, uh, to increase his love in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, and from there, when a person has love, then either he reaches to a stage where he's always, uh, whatever work that he does, he, he, he knows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's existence is present, or that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching him. Yes, so that is the second stage. Right. This is when this heart has reached the stage, there is one more stage that you need to reach, which is the desire. So the desire is the main king where it gives out the commands. Right. And the difference between an animal and a humankind is the desire. Because animals also walk, right. animals also see, animals also eat. They do the same things right. that humans do. Right. What differentiates us where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, karamna bani Adam, that we have blessed the children of Adam. What differentiates us from them? Firstly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that if you want to walk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed us how to walk. Wala tamshi fil ardi maraha. That do not walk boastfully on them. If you want to, uh, if a person wants to uh, look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qul lil mu'minina yahuddu. That tell the, the, the believers to uh, keep their eyesight down. If you want to know how to protect your private parts, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, li hum lifurujim hafidun. That those that protect. All of these here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has showed us that how the human body and how does a person go about living his life. Right, okay. And because of, if a person does not do that, then he becomes ulaikakalanami. Then they become like animals, bal hum abal. They become worse than animals. Yes, you know? So basically, this is just mentioning. Right. In today's time, we have seen that we have to understand that if a person is involved in these type of sins, the death has to do with the sickness of the heart. Okay. And you know, uh, basically, like I've mentioned before, uh, that it is apparent everywhere. Right. You know, uh, it's on the internet. It's uh, on, uh, even when youth are having discussions and topics, you know, it, it does, it's not a topic without being mentioned, uh, uh, of girls Sex, being mentioned, right. or if you're looking on the internet, you know, they, they would bring small, small uh, posters of, 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 right. of naked women. Even if you're not on a pornography. Even if you're not on a pornography. Yeah. Right. Whether it's advertisements on TV, whether you're watching a movie, right. whether it's a comedy, you understand? Yeah. So we need to understand and basically know that we, have been, we are being attacked from each and everywhere. And it's on each and every individual for him to know that this is something which I have to make an effort to protect myself from against. You know? And having said that, before we go m uh, further, we're going to take a short break, you guys. I think if you're clarifying that, Sheikh, because Brother Abdul Rahman, I think you agree, people, you know, one thing leads to another. So they always say, oh, I can't have an iPad then, because it's like an easy excuse to go to the next sin. Yes. Uh, but thank you for clarifying that. It's our responsibility to avoid those things. Uh, it's very nice. Thank you, Sheikh. Mm -hmm. uh, Brother Abdul Rahman, we're going to take a short break. You guys at home will take a short break. Uh, we'll be right back with more talking about pornography. So stay tuned. Subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah I'm calling your name In a game of golf, both the caddy and the golfer have the same goal to get the ball into the hole. Interest-free banking is similar with a clear view of the fairway a predefined agreement without shifting targets Things should end up where you want them. Your deposits are safe and your funds are ethically managed with a transparent and equitable approach to sharing risk and reward. No interest burden means more time to relax without the worry of nasty surprises. Rest assured, our interest is mutual. Jazz Bank. Nigeria's first full-fledged non-interest bank.
Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to Let's Talk. You guys, how about that awesome crane movement by Brother Ihab Abu, Abu Yazid? Thank you so much, Brother. And I also forgot to mention, how about that brand new nasheed by Brother Omar Aisa from the UK? We certainly appreciate it, Brother. I really thank you. It's a beautiful nasheed. Everybody loves it. Uh, we ask Allah to, uh, to bless you for that. Thank you for giving us that. Uh, we certainly appreciate it. Having said that, you guys, like I promised, uh, the brothers in the control room, inshallah, are going to put the Facebook comments on the screen for us to take a look at because Brother Osama al Shami, don't be confused, he's not Syrian. That's just his name. He's working very hard behind the scenes here. And he posted a question on Facebook. And I'm going to have young brother Abdul Rahman, inshallah, read that question in full, inshallah, and read a couple of three co comments, brother, because okay. we received how many comments do you see there? More than 139 com so, uh, uh, comments. And how many shares? Shares. Well, I, it took, I think it 39, was 39. 39 shares, brother. SubhanAllah. I mean, that's amazing. So you can see this is an issue for, for people, man. I mean, this is a hot topic. So, brother, if you can go ahead. If you want, do you want to read the question in full? Okay. The question is, do you think pornography is a big problem for Muslim youth? Is it only for men or women as well? Please share your thoughts. Okay, no, okay. read the first comment. Okay. Let us know the name uh, of the person. Uh, from a brother of uh, Bella, uh, his name is Bella Abu Bakr Dawood. Mm -hmm. Dawood, uh, this became, he, say, he says, this became rampant in our society and it, uh, and it easy to access is to, too cheap. With help of mobile phones, parents should look into affairs of their children. And that's exactly what that Omar true. in the audience was saying. You know, it's very easy now and cheap with the mobiles and everything and what the Sheikh was saying as well. What about the second comment, brother? Okay, th this is from a brother called Joe Samuel. Pornography is a tool of adulterous society to legalize the evil act of corrupt leaders. Yes, yeah, subhanAllah. And we, like I said, subhanAllah, it's, it's very, very, it's all over the world, not just in the West. We yes. six, ten of, six of the ten Muslim countries were, were there. But we're, and there's another, uh, there's a brother called Mutaz Aladi, Al Aladi. Please, brothers and sisters, look at this page. You will find important new concepts. SubhanAllah. This is a page. Go, go down and school. There's uh, so, uh, Dianti Idri, Idris, a mm -hmm. brother called Dianti, or sister, Dianti Idris. Mm -hmm. The pornography pushed to kids through online games, comic strips, novels, and TV shows. Exactly what I was saying. And commercials are unbearable. Yeah. They, are t they are attacked from every corner of life. I start to believe it is an attack to our nation. A seminar held recently by one of our children, psy psychoanalyst, I it will Ili Risman. If it was let too too long, it will through it will stay for good and difficult to treat. Subhanallah. These kids will go through lots of pro problems for the less uh, for the rest of uh, life. Too many of them is permanent damage for the nation. Yes, yeah, man. I want you to keep the iPad, inshallah. Okay. Uh, the, the, they see it on the screen now. Uh, actually, brother, if you can go ahead and uh, read the question right again for the people tuning in. Okay. I think they have it on the screen now. The question again is: Do you think pornography is a big problem for Muslim youth? Is it only for men? or women as well. Please share your thoughts. SubhanAllah. Now, brother, why they see in the Facebook comments, young brother Abdul Rahman, as a young student, you, you know, you were raised, born and raised in Canada, you traveled to Syria, now you live in Egypt, you have, mashallah, a very nice, you know, international experience. Do you think it's a big problem among the youth? I mean, the, your friends, the people in your school, your age, I mean, is it pretty... You say it's one of the major problems Wallah. of the of youth life. Yeah, more than like smoking cigarettes, which I see young kids doing. It's like an everyday routine right now. Right. Especially in the West, but in East, it's starting, uh, for now, in the Islamic countries, it's beginning. say it's becoming permanent, right. almost. So if you don't look at pornography, what do the kids think? Like you're a geek? A nerd. Right, what's uh, your problem? Uh, uh, outcast of society. Right. A lot of things they could call right. it. Right. And now do the people take this now? And do, do you think now, brother, it, it messes up their respect for women now, after seeing this? No, no, no. Let's say, uh, let's say someone like, like you're with your friends. You talk about different subjects, and suddenly they suddenly they go to porn and other things and masturbate they ask you how much how much times do you masturbate that's like a common question right. friends okay. okay they say uh, let's say let's say i said i never ma masturbate in my life because i'm not used to porn or because i was raised by parents that uh, keep me away from it yeah so let's uh, they say are you gay yeah. that's a that's a normal uh, reaction right, from right, them. Right, are yeah, you gay it's a, You're, uh, it's a normal life then how uh, let's say they you could say how you, how are you going to get married? Until now, I don't understand how is that connected <laughs> to uh, how is that connected to uh, yeah. marriage. I'm really glad that you're such a young man and you have really a, a wonderful understanding. And I'm glad that you linked that. You said how is one related to the other? In fact, one will damage the other. Yeah. How are they going to get married after they became looking at filth? Exactly. You know? <laughs> oh, um, uh, sometimes the, okay. Let's say sometimes there's a playboy, 
He says, uh, usually we know in the West, in Canada and America, playboys, are, there's a lot. Right, right. So, and they, they, there's only one reason they play with girls, to, ha uh, to have sex with them. Right, that's, right. No, that's a normal thing. Right, okay. right. Okay. Why would they, why, uh, why is, is it a fun, is it fun? Or is it just uh, something natural in him? That, that's a question, uh, until now there's no answer for it. Yeah, 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 yeah great. Yeah, e excellent, uh, uh, excellent point. Thank you, brother. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, but we'll keep the iPad with you. We're okay. going to go back to that because we have a lot of comments. I want to go back to Sheikh uh, Zakaria. We know that, that uh, you know, pornography is out there. It's real. It's obviously, uh, it's obviously affecting the Muslim Ummah. Uh, so what can we say about that? And what, how can we uh, perhaps cure the diseases of the heart that, uh, you know, that like lead us to it? Uh, like he's mentioned also, you know, uh, this is a topic which is, and like we've mentioned, it is from every angle. And the youth in today's time, you know, it's something which, like I've said before, that it's a topic which, you know, uh, the, the, it's not a topic without that. And, you know, just imagine someone is saying that, uh, did you masturbate? If you <laughs> didn't, you know, are you gay? It's strange. You know? uh, so uh, basically it's making, uh, you know, the, the term nerd, geek, and all of this here, you know, in today's time it's been used on guys that are not, uh, no, don't want to, because you're polite, right. because you don't want to go into sin, you know, so you're being a, a, a foolish person, a person who's not with the guys within the gang, you know. Right. So basically, uh, just a quick mention uh, that uh, we need to understand that this is a sickness of the heart, like we've mentioned. Right. And uh, this needs a very, uh, you have to introspect yourself and understand that once you've been involved in this year, it is similar to drugs because it's an addiction. Right. And the more you go into it, the more harder it becomes to come out of it. Right. You know? Yeah. And it's so it, what happens is, from a young age, you're looking at porn, you're going to pay for it in this world, you're going to pay for it in the year yeah. after. That's one of the hard things about, that is one of the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the main things, that your punishment comes here and in the year after. How? If you're involved in porn as young, by the time you reach, uh, uh, by the time you reach an age where you are ready to get married or they find for you a wife, you find out later on when you are married that you cannot perform because, you know, right. so your wife wants a divorce. Yes. And number two, yes, you, you can't find perform in reality now. because right. you used to do so much of masturbation and all of that, right. that you find comfort and feeling in that yeah. instead of having intercourse with your and wife. Well, talk about you a know, sickness. The, uh, uh, number three is that you are weakening your body. Because the power of a man comes in his lowering his gaze, in his, in, in, in his not uh, socializing with women folk. And there's a certain power that comes in you that you have preserved for when yeah. you get married. Yeah. You understand? You are wasting all of that there. When we come to the uh, ladies, those ladies that watch porn, you know, uh, some of them you find that, um, that's why you find guys that have watched so much of porn. Later on when they get married, they want their wives to do those right. things and they want to see they're no more interested in his wife wearing I mean, uh, covering her body he tells yeah. her that she needs to expose her body because he's used to seeing all of this and shake if know? i might interrupt you briefly the, the perversion increases at first they begin watching porn and then the perversion the perverted nature of what they watch gets worse and worse i was online shake today and there's a uh, there's a database for parents in america you can check out how many child molesters live in your area so for mm -hmm. safety reasons so there was 42 child molesters within a couple square miles of my mother's house in California, subhanAllah. I mean, these people probably started out watching porn and then they watched child porn and then animal porn and then it gets more and more messed up and then... And it's almost as if the females on the other side, by them decreasing their clothing, by them yeah. trying to act like those women that yes. are on porn, yeah. it makes it so difficult for the guys. Yeah. So you see, it's, 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 yeah. a, it's like a battle because now guys are being exposed to women who are not dressed, right. to women who are exposing body parts. And what happens is, yeah. you, know, you know, it's almost it's like a, a cycle. Way, it's, it's a cycle. Yeah, so what you're saying that the one star shake, the women now are trying to compete with the image the men have. The men have. Because yeah. men don't want to see a woman in hijab. Yeah. He doesn't want to see a woman who's covered. Yeah, of course. He wants to see her hair. He wants to see her, her body. you know, the, the body. Yeah. He wants to see her exposing body parts. Hear her voice. What does it lead to? If he can't get her, he says that I'm going to rape her. SubhanAllah, Sheikh, that is a terrible but uh, realistic fact. Thank you for sharing that. Can you continue with your thought, Sheikh? And that's what we mentioned, that uh, he also looks at her, and if, he, uh, if, if it's not that, then they feel, uh, you know, the, the guys get that feeling, and he, he, that's why th this is where you get guys becoming gay. For example. And uh, you get also uh, guys that wants to get married because he has these feelings, but because of uh, marriage problems where the marriage is either too high or he can't pay. 
and then you find young girls wanting to look like older girls because those girls that expose their bodies look more cool right. and you know it gives them attention yes and uh, a another thing on the girl side it leads to lesbianism yes it leads to trying out new stuff gadgets right. and all of these things yeah. so you know it's a turning cycle right. which later on leads to a community that has no modest uh, that, that has no shame in them in and like Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said okay. that uh, if you do if, if Allah tastahi fasna' ma shi' that when you do not have no shame left in you then you will do whatever you want to and we know yes, in the porn world you don't need to mention but there is sick things which are happening and you know we don't even want to mention it because everybody knows the things yeah. that uh, that you end up doing with your body uh, that, that this beautiful body that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed us with and look at the beautiful wisdom of the Nabi I mean this is said so many years ago and it applies right now to this yes. topic uh, uh, Sheikh, you said something about rape, and this is a startling, uh, terrible thing. Brother Abdurrahman mentioned in the break, uh, brother, some rapes that recently happened in India. Please talk about it. Uh, right now, it's a top news. It used to be in the beginning of the, uh, this month, January. Okay. So it, t it turned out the, uh, there was a univers university student in uh, some university in India, mm -hmm. big one. So a, lady, uh, w a young lady... A young girl mm -hmm. got raped, gang raped, right. got raped, gang raped by five to seven uh, young men. And she died. She died in the hospital. Yeah. And then they made they say made some cr uh, they made an issue of it, and it went to the uh, what is it the, uh, the high court. court. Right. And then he went to the news, and then after that, after about a week and yes. a half, a thirty a thirty year, a years old woman, a middle aged woman. Got raped in a bus. Gang yeah. raped in a bus. Again, and I believe Again. she died. I no, don't know. No, she didn't die. She's still yeah. alive. And people were shocked because it happened back to back. Where is the shame of the people? It, it took her about seven days. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. One, no one. And that's in an uh, un-Islamic society. Yeah, Hindu society. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, thank you for sharing that point because that's a real oh. topic, an interesting, uh, uh, not an interesting, I should say, a recent historic, a recent, a current recent event, event rather. Yeah, so thank you, brother. Let's go oh. to the audience. Bro. I know you had some interesting comments you wanted to share, so I want you to go ahead, right ahead and share them. You had some ideas, uh, some thoughts about um, free freedom of the press and how this leads free speech um, to pornographic materials being distributed, the business behind the porno industry, how many billions, if not trillions of dollars they make. Go ahead, brother. Yes, actually, Brother Malik, this is very true. And, and this is why, actually, why, while I was conducting a research on this topic, actually, I found a very alarming uh, fact here, which is that here, actually, we are in front of uh, many pressure groups and uh, lobbies and interest groups who are ready to offer any kind of uh, illicit activity as long as this, br this will bring them profit and uh, uh, the, the it's, it's a very lucrative uh, actually yeah. industry for them yeah. and actually not only that they are actually ready to twist slogans and uh, to, to manipulate uh, the, uh, the terms for example one of the most famous now uh, interest groups which, uh, which work on this and uh, it works on uh, manipulating our healthy understanding of how a man and a woman should relate to one another uh, within the parameters of marriage is uh, the freedom of, of, of speech coalition. They are ready to, uh, to do everything as long, uh, and, and, uh, as, long as this is going to serve their illicit and uh, their evil agenda. And also you have another mark which is GAP, Gay and the Proud. They, they make channels, satellite channels, and they, do, and they, uh, they also uh, support uh, pornographic websites in order to corrupt the ethics of our youth. And, and this is why, as parents and, and as Muslims, we have to be to have to be very alert to this, and to, and we have to be very very aware of such schemes and, and conspiracies against our youth. Uh, so may Allah Subhanahu wa Taala keep us safe, uh, both physically and mentally. Uh, thank you, brother. I mean, you know what? Uh, speaking about the money the porn industry makes, when I was living in San Francisco, there's a street called Valencia and 18th Street, and there's a Greek Orthodox church there. I know that because I'm Greek, okay? Next door, there's a huge, it looks like a castle. So I asked my father, this was two years ago. I said, Dad, what is that? He said, you don't, you don't know what that building is for? He said, they make porn in that building. It looked like a castle, brick and mortar. So imagine the money this industry is making. Astaghfirullah. Uh, you guys, uh, we're going to take a short break. You guys at home, stay tuned to Let's Talk. We have a lot of more interesting comments. We have another report. We have some comments from the studio audience as well. The Sheikh is going to give us now the solutions to this problem. And Brother Abdurrahman is going to give us more insight into the youth perspective about this. I'm so happy that you guys are staying tuned to this important and serious uh, informational, educational topic, uh, pornography. It's affecting uh, 
all Muslim homes all around the world, I think, in one way or another. So we have to take care about it. Um, we have prepared an interesting report for you guys. So I want you guys to check it out. Uh, it's really speaking about pornography from uh, not from the pro prohibitions of the Quran and Sunnah, but rather losing productivity even. As the Sheikh mentioned, Sheikh, Sheikh Zakaria mentioned, uh, the pro productivity of a person, uh, you become a worthless human being with no energy, uh, with no purpose and usefulness in life. Uh, in order, so let's take a look at this report, you guys, and I want you to stay tuned. I want you to watch it. I want you to, uh, uh, to think about it. You know, so stay tuned for more Let's Talk. Thank you guys for staying tuned, Sheikh Zakaria. What I noticed about that video was the Shaitan comes to you when you're alone and you see the man look around to make sure the little cartoon that nobody's watching him and the Shaitan plays in your mind, doesn't he? When you're alone and he gets you to open these websites. And subhanAllah, thus again, we will find it in the Sunnah when Nabi Salsam said yeah. that the two blessings which mankind are wasteful in it, which mankind just, you know, uh, doesn't take heed of. Nabi Salsam said, yes. number one, his health and number two, his free time. Yes, and you've mentioned this here before that on your free time, this is where the whispers of Satan are more louder, yeah. you know. Uh, for example, if you're sitting in your room with your internet on, you know, and checking out, on, uh, especially on YouTube and that, you know, it's, 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 that's what I'm saying, it's, ab it's all up to the individual. Right. Because no matter what you try to do, say for example on YouTube if a person puts in a name of a, a, of, of a, a certain recite and that, on the side, those small videos, they'll have a, 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 the, the picture of a woman oh, on the side. Uh, yeah. So yeah, can you I see how uh, any, any you, you just, maybe you're typing, looking for something, you know, the other billboards that they have there shows a woman with naked pictures. Number two, uh, when you're in the toilet, you know, it's important to go what you need to do because what happens is, like my one teacher said, the one said he went to a shop and he, forget, uh, he forgot what he was supposed to buy and he ended up buying six, seven more stuff instead of buying what he was really supposed yeah. to buy. Yeah. So what happens is when a person goes to toilet and you sit and you just relax, the, 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 the objective and the, what you needed to do, you understand, you start doing other things other than relieving yourself, right, right, you know? Right. So, and, and, and the, we know that uh, the, these, these are the places, these are the points where a person begins low, uh, the, you, you're taking your, your free time, not utilizing it in the proper way. Yeah, and right. like they've said, nafsu in lam tajghil habil haq that your desires, if right. you do not engage it in, 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 in good, if you do not engage it in righteous deeds, right. it will engage you in uh, disobeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you really have to be strong, Brother Rahman, as well, uh, Sheikh Zakari, as you know, <coughs> because like you said, I opened up my YouTube channel, and subhanAllah, these pictures came in front of me, and even, uh, I said to myself, who was directing this at me? It's like automatic thing, you know, and you have to have the strength to close it out and not to look at it, subhanAllah. Uh, brother Abdul Basu, uh, Akin Basuni in the back, uh, you had some comments, brother, that you want to share with the viewers um, that you shared with me during the break. Um, go ahead. Yes. Uh, first of all, I want to say my advice to parents first. And I repeat the word again, parents. You must make ba basic things that your uh, son or your daughter will stand upon it 
because you cannot um, all the time close the door on your uh, uh, son or on your daughter, he or she must go out to the uh, outside environment and you will ask about such a thing and such a thing and uh, he or she will gain any information or gain any knowledge in any field. So if you, will, if you, if you don't uh, uh, prepare for yourself as a father, basic things that you will uh, upbring your child on it, you will still weeping, but you will not weeping tears, you will weeping blood. That's Sorry, the fact yeah. that we will, we will find in our streets nowadays as a Muslim ummah. We will not find youth strong. Illa ma rahim Allah except those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved from this war. And I insist to say such a word. It is a war against the Islam. This uh, placed uh, uh, invitation for the whole world. It's a war against us as Muslims. So we must have our agenda as Muslims to spread it around the world. But first, family, your family, yourself, and then your family, and then your neighbors, friends, and then it will uh, enlarge the, the it will enlarge the circle around you. Why? You will be uh, object, or you will be you will be you, you will be obit, uh, 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 You will not be negative. You will be optimistic, positive. Optimistic. You will yeah. be positive right. in your ummah. May Allah make it easy for our brother. Uh, you, I'm sorry, go ahead, complete. I'm sorry, May Allah make it easy for our uh, sheikhs first to spread that around the world, and may Allah make it easy for all uh, our parents and other parents to save their uh, family from this shaitan and from this Amen. great enemy, which is media at first and then our streets. I mean, you. brother, you had mentioned to me two things. People use two things to destroy the ummah of the Prophet Muhammad, or they attempt to destroy. They attempt to destroy the ummah of, this, of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with two things. What yes. I mean? First, they started to fight this great ummah, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala placed them, starting from... Um, our Prophet وسلم, time yes. until the uh, the day uh, of, of judgment, inshallah. They started to fight them by uh, weapons and they uh, they find themselves foolish. They, uh, they, they cannot succeed to do such a thing. They fall in uh, fighting them by weapons. And then they said, so That means a cup of wind or a glass of wind of wine. and a protestant woman will vanish and destroy this ummah because weapons will not will not right, do right. such a thing because they are very strong right. in their belief in their aqidah in their uh, 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 believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right. and in the Quran and the sunnah so we must start from this beginning ka'sun wa ghaniya drugs yeah wind right. and such a thing and Ghaniya means prostitute. Um, women start b by um, getting her clothes off, the, 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 her clothes right. off, uh, naked women in such screens and such uh, cell phones or anything. Right, right. This is a tool of the great war against Islam. Yes, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our ummah and thank you. I mean, thank you, brother. I certainly appreciate it. Uh, Sheikh Zakaria, uh, uh, enlighten myself and brother Abdul Rahman, the viewers at home, the studio audience. Certainly, there are some solutions. So let's talk about solutions and also repentance for people. Many good people perhaps are caught up in this because it's everywhere. So let's talk about repentance and, and solutions. <coughs> Inshallah, like we've said, the brothers, the audience, and uh, you know, I, I'm sure by now the audience have, have gotten the idea of what we are speaking about and they've gotten the idea. There are many examples that have been left out of how people are being attacked by this. And uh, the brother has mentioned beautifully of how it's a war against Islam and he has right. given his proofs. And they, we've mentioned about how uh, it's, a, it's a marketing and it's a profit and it's a, you know, we've mentioned everything. Yeah. Uh, one of the main points uh, I'll begin and uh, Alhamdulillah, I think so each and every person should uh, get himself the book of Imam Ghazali. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy on him. Mm -hmm. uh, he has written the book, The Revival of Islamic Sciences. The revival of Islamic sciences, Ihya ul Ulumuddin. And um, it has so much of knowledge in it, and it, it basically covered every aspect, uh, most of the aspects which a person uh, are questions that you are looking for, uh, the, be the, the, the beautiful way that he has answered it. 
In there, he mentions about five points of a person. First is that a person needs to admit that he has the sickness. A person needs to admit that he has the sickness in his heart and that he needs to take care of it. Firstly, how do you take care of the sickness in your heart? Number one is that you need to trace back where the sun started from. Because right. normally, if you want to destroy a tree, you are, or whatever you want to destroy, or say, for example, you want to cut a tree, you know, it's a tree that is, it's, 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 uh, it's extracting you, or it's, you want to take it out of the way, you don't cut it from the top. You right. know, you need to dig down take and pull it out from the roots. Right. So basically, we need to go back to the root. Was it because when I was free that I started looking at porn? Was it because right. of when I used to go onto the internet, then I started looking at porn? Right. Was it because of that when I started looking at girls that I used to get aroused in my body and I started going into yeah. porn? Yeah. So we need to look back, go back to the sun where it started from. Yeah. Once we know where the root is, mm. it's benefiting us how? that you're cutting off and now you're going to train yourself to stay away from that and if you've mastered it you have basically taken out the root of that sun yes great number two he says that every person should have a role model in life every person should have a role model a person who is has attained the, the, the stage of piety and he sees in him when he looks at that person he reminds him of Allah and this is where the brother mentioned from the audience, the parents. I think so, most important, a parent should be the role model to their children. Yep. You know, uh, that young girl, when she leaves the house, the father should be, the mother should be a role model of how she should dress. That young boy, when he walks in the street, and when he looks, or wh whatever he does, his father should be the role model yeah, of, of how he speaks to people, how he looks, where his eyesight goes, yeah, you know. So basically, your house should be the four walls of, of, of building a role model inside. The sheikhs and the ulama should be there just to elevate it, yes. just to beautify it. Yes. But the, 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 the beginning should be in the house. Yeah, the because as you've mentioned, Abdullah Abdul Rahman, yeah, you could see that because yeah. of his parents and that, yeah. mashallah, it's, it's, it's so nice to see that the youth, yeah. 19 years old, he's, uh, he, you know, he has all these things around and he doesn't see it as a threat to him. Yeah. He says, I don't like speaking about that, you know, yeah. because <laughs> it comes from the house. Yeah. And you do find, and the audience that are watching this, you do find youth that are not involved in porn, yeah, sure. that do not look at the strange woman, that l use the internet. He has an iPhone. Yeah. He has, uh, 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 you know, he, he has the ability to do all, he has all these devices, right. but it doesn't threaten his life, so you can. Thirdly, it's most important the friends that you have. Yeah. The friends that you keep. How the, uh, Imam Shafi mentions beautifully in a poem that I'm looking for a friend. That when I look at him, he reminds me of Allah. That when he sees, you know, I'm looking for a friend who says, come, let's go to the library, let's go and read some books. Come, let's go and play a soccer match, you know. Come, let's go for salah, it's time, let's, let's make it for the first surf. He says, I'm looking for such a friend yeah. that will guide me. I have looked, but I found only a few. There are very little who are friends that are true. And he said, number four is that listen carefully to what your enemies say about you. <laughs> because... Your enemies look for your every small fault. Yes, so you can pick up when your enemy says that you have this defect, this defect, this defect, you will know that it is true because they look for, your all, uh, for all that small defects in you. Like how we've, the, the scholars mentioned that love long to my, love, uh, may Allah give a long life to my enemies so that they can see me succeed in life. Subhanallah. You know, so this is important that a person listens. And number four or number five, the most important is that Look around you and see what the people hate. If you want to know what is wrong, see what is, what is known as a disgrace by people that have, in, uh, that have humanity in them. You know? right. This is how Azrat Luqman got his wisdom. Most of the scholars, they would look around and whatever people hated, they would keep away from that and people would love you. I just want to mention this as a, as, 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 as a closing base, is that, you know, People would say, yeah, it, can you watch it alone? Can you do this? Can you do this trick? Can you do this here? You know, you should ask yourself at the end of the day. There are legal proofs from the Quran and Sunnah, inshallah, which will be mentioned. But logically, just I just want to pose out this question, and I leave it for each and every individual to judge. Yes, Will you enjoy owning that internet and then going into a porn site or driving in your car and then looking at the billboard 
which has a naked woman, or gazing on a naked or gazing on a woman and having lust desires, will you enjoy all of those had it been your own mother or sister? Subhanallah. Subhanallah. This is a, this is an excellent point. In a, we actually unfortunately have to end the episode. It's the end of the episode. I know we have more comments out there. Uh, but I would recommend I want you to read more Facebook comments, but we're out of time. Sheikh Zakaria, thank you for your time. Really, uh, Jazakallah, highlight on both you guys for your time. And you guys in the studio audience, I really appreciate it. I know the brother in the front from the Ambassadors League had a wonderful, uh, some proof from the Quran and Sunnah for us. I apologize we ran out of time. You guys, I really appreciate uh, your participation. You guys at home, I, I certainly hope that you benefited uh, from, uh, from what we spoke about here today. I hope you guys stay away from pornography and enjoying that on other people as well because it is harmful for your deen and for your family, for your spouse, for your children, for your friends, for your family, for the Muslim world. So take care, stay away from it, you guys. So until next time, till another Let's Talk, inshallah, I leave you in the care of Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa